All right, doing a wheel bearing on a 2003 Suburban. That's the same for the trucks, everything else. Basic tools, snap on, or <laughs> snap on. Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight. That's actually an East Wing, so there's that. Take the cover off, and expose your axle nut. Then we're gonna get in here real quick. Take these two bolts out. I think they are 19, probably wrong. No, they're 17s. So we're gonna take the caliper bracket off. I'm not gonna fuck with all this. I'm just gonna pull the caliper bracket off with pads, everything, set it up top. All right, caliper bracket up. It was actually an 18 millimeter. Uh, pull your rotor off. Ooh, that looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Good old Ohio. Well, we'll try to get it out. If it don't come easy, what we'll do is we'll heat it up right in here. I should break it loose. Uh, I need to get my axle nut sockets. Take this off. I mean, once you've done one of these, they're all the same. Nothing to be afraid of. And you don't have to have it. But uh, impact is your best friend on this stuff. If not, you just pop that off with the wheel on and get it all off that way. Alrighty, I'll get back at you when I get the axle nut loose. Alright, axle nut was a 35 millimeter. Wheel bearing bolts are 15. You have to get a little persuasive to get them loose. Uh, you're probably supposed to remove the axle. I didn't. On the top one, I just put a good old gear wrench and then beat it with a hammer and she came loose. Uh, yeah. Now that I got it loose, I'm going to take my hammer and I'm just going to knock it out. Hopefully she don't fight me. Let's see if I can get it loose. Probably gonna have to, yeah. We'll get this top bolt all the way out and it should pop right out. All right, so if you get one that is like mine and is stuck on there, you get one of these tools. But then again, I did a uh, mechanic I used to work with he built this and it was actually made for a dodge but what you do is you're gonna be able to hit it way hard just like that I'll let you know how it works all right had to get the big old hammer three hits she popped right loose I mean and it's a simple tool. Flat stock, square tubing, and all it does is when you hit it, it gives it that spring and it knocked it right out. So, now that that's all loose, we'll move our caliper, come up here, find where our EBS or our ABS or wheel speed sensor connects in. Mind you, I'm not on a big concrete slab. I'm actually on a sidewalk. Surrounded by mud. Crap tool set. I actually got that at a flea market for a hundred bucks. Plus the batteries. I had to buy batteries. There is no reason you cannot work on your own stuff. And I've never done it on a Suburban. I've worked on a bunch of other vehicles, but never a Suburban. So, there's that. Here's a good picture of my tool. That mechanic that used to work at my work, I swear to goodness, he was a good guy. He passed away this year. And then you gotta have yourself a course. And you can see those chickens over there. That's what makes it all, yes. All right, so I'm gonna disconnect the ABS. I think it's right here. Yep. 
disconnect it and pop all these tabs and this wheel bearing will be out. All right, wheel bearings out. We're gonna go over here. I've ordered these, I don't know, about a month ago. One thing about me is I am cheap. I am, I mean, I am one of the cheapest people you'll ever meet. Don't cheap out putting wheel bearings in. I mean, just don't. You'll regret it in the long run. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, there it is. You go with the expensive. I mean, maybe not the most expensive, but Moog is a trusted, I trust them. I mean, look at this thing. Mismatched doors. I, I mean, you still use Moog because on some stuff, it does not matter at all. But on this, I do not want to do this job again in another year. I don't. And that is the best bang for your buck. It was like $110 for the wheel bearing, and it's got a lifetime warranty. I mean, that's it. Make sure you pull your heat shield off of your old one. And then just reverse. I'll show you how I get her done. All right. So what we do is we tighten a little on each one. We don't go tighten it all up at once. You want to, at least I do. I mean, like I said, I'm just a dude. It is a 15 millimeter, and how I'm doing it is a swivel. Harbor Freight. This is actually a gear wrench. If you look, it'll fit right in that axle. If not, you're probably going to have to pull the axle, which... In all actuality, for as much time as I spent dicking with it, it probably would have been just as fast to pull the dang axle. But we pull it in nice and easy. Sorry. My daughter's uh, cleaning out the dually because we're about to go get gravel. But yes. I'll let you know. I'm sure there's a torque spec. I don't know what the torque spec is. I just tighten it until it feels right. Alright, recap. 15 millimeter. I got these stupid fancy lug nuts on. So, it takes a special tool. Little extension. 15 millimeter wrench. Two screwdrivers. Ratchet. And a swivel. Get our caliper bracket tightened down. As you can see, way easier. But mind you, I just did a bunch of work to this. It's got 300,000 miles on it. But you know what I mean? It runs good. The wife likes it. No one pulls out in front of us with it. There's a, a jeeper out there. It needs a input shaft put in, or an input shaft seal. Same with these. You just get them nice and tight. And the other good thing about a Moog wheel bearing is if you look, it comes with every single new piece. So, like, I didn't even have to save those. Now, some newer stuff might, I don't know. I don't care. I always go with Moog. I always go with Moog on wheel bearings. Connect that back up. Run your wire. Axle nut. We'll see her when she's done. All right, new sensor hooked in. Caliper bracket bolted back down. Don't forget your washer. 
and your nut. I've used electric impacts before. They work just as good. But that's on there. Not my friends. how you do a wheel bearing. Like and subscribe.